All right, guys, today we're here to talk about the Logitech Pro for the Oculus Quest 2. Now, we're specifically talking about these headphones in use with VR. So, even though that these headphones can be used uh, for PC and for, you know, other platforms as well, specifically we're looking at this because Oculus is recommending these for people who use the Quest 2. It has the Quest 2 logo on it, and they're branded as Oculus Ready. So, we're going to dive in on what makes these Oculus Ready, how they actually sound, and how they work with the Quest 2. Let's go ahead and take a look. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a recce is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, so here we are with the headphones, uh, and they actually do look really nice. I like the look of these headphones. Um, I like the way that the material feels, it feels really comfortable. Um, I didn't have any issues with the actual foam material. You can see that foam material there is really nice and comfy, really fits well. Um, but the only thing... Just to get this off the bat, the only thing that makes these headphones, the Logitech Pro headphones, because these are based on the same exact thing as a model from the year prior that Logitech came out with, the Logitech Pros. These are the exact same headphones in the exact same way. The only difference between these and what makes this Oculus ready and have the Oculus Quest 2 logo on the front is two things. One, it comes with this short 3.5 millimeter cable. So obviously you don't have a long cable dangling and stuff, which is good. And then it comes with this piece of Velcro. So you can kind of attach the Velcro um, right to the side of the headphone. So you don't have to keep unplugging it and plugging it back in. That is the only thing that makes this Oculus ready according to the box. Um, as opposed to you just using any standard, you know, headphone from Steel Series or Corsair or whatever other standard, uh, um, you know headphones you have that are wired um, So you can use any other headphones you want I didn't have any headphones to begin with that were wired around the house. That's why I chose to get these anyway and um, But you can theoretically as long as your cable comes out like in one of the headphones that you have as long as it's a detachable cable Like this one is you can just detach the long cable and get yourself a 3.5 millimeter one That's like this big and on Amazon for a few dollars and you're you're there um, but for people who don't have headphones uh, for the that are wired specifically for the quest 2 like me I didn't have any headphones that were wired around the house. How do these sound? Well, let's start off with the fact that I didn't use these I didn't use these headphones at all for the first few hours of the quest I used the built-in ones and the built-in ones I was playing through games and I was like wow these actually sound a little bit better than I thought They sound at least to me a little louder than where how they were on the original quest uh, the original Quest, I played with those headphones for like an hour and I was done because they were, they were they sounded so teeny and tiny that I didn't care about using them. On um, these, they're not that bad. I mean, they don't they're not like great or anything, but they're they do service they do what the service says that they provide you audio, they provide you 3D positional audio, and they're not that bad. Um, now I played the experience and stuff. I went to big screen and watched the movie. It was clear. I can hear people. I can hear the movie. All that stuff. Then I went to uh, Beat Saber and stuff, and that's where like the headphones obviously show their lack because there's no bass or anything like that. But they were still loud enough where I didn't like you know scream for it. So I was like, huh, I wonder if I can get away with not using headphones at all. This was before I bought these, but I was like, no, nah, I gotta try these because they're still not that. Like I said, they're serviceable and they're loud enough. But as somebody who owns this game room and you guys have seen my videos before and has a home theater, likes to listen to things loud, has. Dolby Atmos in the house for a reason because I like audio. I was like, all right, I, I got to see what the difference is between using headphones because what I noticed on the original Quest is when I plugged in, like, uh, I forget which ones I was using before, but I plugged in, not these obviously, but other headphones that I had wired back in the day uh, on the original Quest and they just didn't sound good. Uh, they weren't loud enough. They didn't sound that great. And that's why I didn't use them anymore after that. And I got the, uh, the, the, the Corsa Pros that everyone talks about, the little clip on ones. And I got those instead, and those sounded good, um, and they were definitely louder than the original, so I stuck with those. And that's why I never used the wired headphones on that thing, because they just never sounded loud enough to me for me to have a justification to put them on my ear. So, I got these headphones, I plugged them in, and I was like, alright, let's see what the difference is. So I started going through the same games that I played before. Went through Big Screen, went through Big uh, Beat Saber, and all those music games. And guys, yeah, I I'm not going back to the built-ins uh, anymore, ever again. Um, I don't know what they changed. I don't know if the onboard audio on here now supports better quality headphones or if these headphones are doing it justice or not. But these sound substantially louder than the not only what's built in for obvious reasons, but 
even the the Corsair, the course I forget the exact name that those things were called, the little clip-on ones that everyone used to use that was kind of like the mimic of what the Rift was. These sound substantially louder than those. And I was pleasantly surprised because, like I said, I've used wired on the original Quest, and I didn't think these were going to be as loud as I got them. And these are actually loud enough where sometimes I'm actually going to turn them down. And I never do that with uh, headphones in here. I always have them to the max and leave them there. But these are substantially louder. They sound good. They're a substantial difference and a substantial upgrade to playing games like Beat Saber, watching movies in big screen. All those experiences, they're definitely much better with these headphones. And I'm really glad that I got these. They sound fantastic. Uh, Logitech is a reputable brand. I've used them for other things in the past. And these sound fantastic. And they're really comfortable. You know, if you guys want to see what they, what they fit like, um, you know, when you're wearing this. So if I have, if it's just a strap that you have on and I put the strap on and I put these headphones on like this, this is how they fit. And they do have the adjustable band so you can adjust these up and down if you need to, but this is the perfect adjustment for me. And they don't move or anything when I'm using the headset or, or playing beat tape and stuff that the headphones stayed where they were and all that stuff. And this is how they look. Uh, they fit really nice in here. I can't hear any audio from the outside or hardly any, so it encompasses the ear really well. And uh, I didn't have any issues with these headphones at all. They're really comfortable to use. And like I said, I won't go back to the built-in anymore. And I'll be using these from here on out. And like I said, this isn't to say that you won't have wired headphones that are going to be, you know, good. Just so, like if you have them, try them. Because you could just plug in a 3.5 millimeter uh, jack and you'll be good to go. But as somebody who didn't have one before, for $99 that these things sell us for and how loud these get and how well they work with the Quest 2. If you don't have a pair of headphones yet and you're looking at the $100 range, I definitely recommend the Logitech Quest 2. Even though they're just rebranded as the Quest 2 just because of these two simple things. Regardless of that fact, these still sound really, really good. A lot of, uh, There's some good bass with it with Beat Saber. And um, like I said, for $100, uh, you can't go wrong. I mean, don't expect like $400 quality headphones with the craziest bass ever or anything like that. But good bass, good sound, really high volume and uh, makes the experience of the Quest 2, you're more immersed because of the sound and stuff like that. So I'm really impressed with these guys. If you guys have any questions about these Logitech headphones, as usual, I'll leave those questions down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. The Gaming Tech, Gaming Tech, is the Gaming Tech, Gaming Techie, Gaming Tech, Eating Brecky is the Gaming Tech, Going for a Brecky is the Gaming Tech, Gaming Tech, is the Gaming Tech, Gaming Techie,